All right, guys, I got a 2003, no, it's a 2002, it's a Ford Taurus, and uh, I got some codes here, which is um, P1151, which is for the O2 sensor, and there's another one, which is a PO401, for the E, is uh, basically for the EGR, recirculation, flow, and efficient detected. And um, that's the one I'm actually I'm going to try to fix first. So basically, it's saying that um, there's a restriction in the EGR valve. In the EGR stands for exhaust gas recirculation. And um, so how I test it was what I need to do first is um, basically your EGR is right here right in here in the back and there's a line going there to the EGR and it comes around here and it connects here so first of all I'm going to take this off this right here and now there's the little nipple thingy so EGR is I'm going to start the car basically I'm going to start the car first and um, then I'm going to take it off and I'm going to put a vacuum to it if the car stalls and dies out that mean the EGR is good and which is I know for sure this line is fine I don't see a lot of time if there's a crack in here sometimes it's rubbing against something and then and then it start losing vacuum or you will have like a high idle and uh, stuff like that but um, in this case line looks fine to me but I'm gonna start it up and put a vacuum to it and see if it's um, if the car stalls out. If it doesn't stalls out, then I mean the EGR is uh, clogged. So let's see. All right guys, I just took off the valve from here and then uh, I, I feel the pressure in here on the, on the line, so I know the line is working. And now I'm gonna have my friend uh, put a vacuum to it and then watch how the car will try to stall but it doesn't shut out. There you go, see? about like 20 but it's car is stalling but it's not shutting off it should it should shut off it's about 20 no it's like uh 25 psi pressure it's car is stalling out but it's not it's like i uh, want to die but it doesn't cut off so that means i got restriction in the egr valve okay it's fine let go uh hang on see now let's start running good so that means the EGR is basically clogged and I'm going to take the EGR valve off and uh, clean it. It's pretty hard to get to, it's in the back of the manifold. So in the back of the back of the manifold, it's really hard to get to, a lot of times they're always rusted out and because it has um, this line over here, it goes to the metal line which is exhaust manifold and so sometimes you have to heat it up and take it off but we'll see. I want to show you, I did disconnect it in the EGR valve over here. I don't know if you can see it or not. It's disconnected right here. And uh, the hole over here, it's open right now. I checked it out. It's all nice and good. So, so make sure if the EGR over here, the other hole on the intake is not clogged. So I'm going to have my friend oh, and start the car for me, see if it starts. Start it. There it goes. Okay. It shut. Okay, okay, it's fine. So see, it's not, it's not running. It wa it wants to die out. It's fine. You can leave it. So it, it just wants to die out. It doesn't want to stay running. So I think it's the EGR valve is the problem. So I'm gonna go ahead and take off the bolt on the bottom, which is right there on the exhaust manifold. I can't really. It's really hard to see it uh, right over here right here that's the one right there so that not i usually take it off like start up the car let it run heat up and then take it off so i took off the air box so that i i get some room put my arm around it and then i can work on it okay let's see what happened all right guys so i got the egr valve out i'm gonna put this 
with uh, on my I'm going to do a bench test now already now the connector is pretty the hose is pretty big so all right so right in here if, I don't know if you can see it there is um, it's pretty dirty in there does it see that little shaft long shaft in there that piece yeah that piece there's a plug that is basically stops the um, the gas from coming out so gas comes out of the tail exhaust from here it comes in here this is the it's, it's called DPFE it's like the um, it's the pressure monitoring sensor a lot of time these uh, they go bad too so you can only check it by with the scanner so you cannot ohm them out or anything like that so basically it checks the pressure over here and then um, when I right now the valve is normally supposed to be closed so if I put a pressure in there um, there you go so it's holding a pressure and now the valve is all the way up let's see I don't know if you can see it it's all the way open let me actually turn on the other light so baby there you go see the valve right there right in here this valve right here this valve you'll see if I if I release the pressure in my uh, if I release the pressure you'll see it'll go down there you go watch I'll pump it up that's it so valve is working fine but now what I gotta do is I gotta blow air in here this side blow air in here and then uh, make sure it's not restricted because I just start the car up I just started the car with the um, with the EGR valve off and it died right away if I put my finger on this hole which is in the back of it where the EGR valve was sitting and then it stays running so because it's the extra air that's going into the manifold it's not registered through the um, mass airflow sensor so let me let me actually clean this valve out and then uh, see what happened after that it looks like pretty dirty valve anyways alrighty so put everything back together the problem was this guy the DPFE sensor so this sensor was no good so it is located right over here see the electrical connector right here and it's connected to the it's connected to the uh, EGR valve so this this sensor right here this is the one is was uh, I replaced right here so after that, cleared it up, drove it, no more, like, um, check engine light hasn't came back on yet, but, um, I looked it on the scanner, it was reading, like, uh, one point, I think, six volts or something like that, and, um, I actually back probed the connector, in the back of this connector, and then checked it, make sure that's what, uh, with the ohm, with the multimeter, that's what, it was the right voltage, so, it shouldn't be more than, uh, between four to seven volts. So, 